name, a Chicago area man who federal investigators say pledged allegiance to the domestic terror group called Army of God, now facing charges connected with a threat to burn down a local abortion clinic. Eyewitness News investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy joining us with the details just coming in. Chuck. Alan, 33-year-old Luke Wiersma, currently from Dyer, Indiana, in Chicago federal court late this afternoon after threatening to blow up abortion clinics, according to authorities. They say he is a self-professed member of the Army of God that federal agents consider to be a Christian domestic terror organization. The I-team tonight with more on Wiersma, the charges against him, and the Army of God group authorities say he claimed to be working with. Wiersma, seen here posing in front of an actual military vehicle, was affiliated with the Army of God group, according to the FBI. That group is responsible for a pass bombing of an Alabama abortion clinic. Wiersma agreed to meet yesterday with FBI agents where he is said to have confessed to both sending threats and messages to the FBI, tipping them off to his plans, according to the records. Federal officials call him a danger to society, and he's being held tonight without bond. According to the criminal complaint, he sent messages to abortion clinics in Chicago and Northwest Indiana that read, I want you to burn. I want you all to die. You and your clinic will be going down soon. Die, die, die. I will blow up the clinic with you and the staff in it. The FBI has been investigating similar threats of violence against Chicago area abortion clinics since late 2015, according to the 18-page complaint. Wiersma is quoted as saying at one point, I ain't afraid of the feds and will taunt them just to prove it. The abortion clinic threats in Metro Chicago had federal law enforcement stumped for several years, but a break came in late October when an anonymous tipster told them Wiersma should be looked at because he was threatening to do whatever is necessary to stop abortions. That tip turned the FBI on to him and began an investigation that resulted in the charges today. A bond hearing is scheduled for Friday. Hypocrite. It says, a person who puts on a false appearance of virtue, like virtuous, a moral, a, of morality, or religion, a person who puts on false appearance of virtue or religion, a person who gets in contradiction to his or her stated beliefs, I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha HaKwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, I'm going to give us a Sia Shalom to the elect, peace to the elect, Israelites scattered abroad. I want to go in this video here that I ran across this news article, news clip, a little while back about a, 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 a Christian who is a terrorist in a terrorist group I thought the Hebrew Israelites were terrorists this is what they say although they never had us set up as, as a group with guns blazing guns threatening to blow up abortion clinics although that the, the elites might say, they might get people to set them up to make us look bad, to make it seem like that we're terrorists, even though that's a singular event. But this group called the, uh, what are they called, the Children of God? Let me, <laughs> I don't know, what they call, AOG? Um, I gotta find the uh, article real quick. This is crazy. They are called the Army of God. Okay, now this is an actual Christian terrorist organization, a CTO, okay, um, and the Army of God spokesman is Donald Spitz, is <laughs> Spitz, that's his name, this is Christianity, wait a minute, I thought we were the terrorists, I thought we uh, as a nation of people uh, coming back to our nationality, I thought you said that we were a hate group. That we were literally see in the world today, hate is speaking up for what's right. Not, uh, not do what, what these people are doing is getting bombs and he's standing in front of army tanks. You know, hate in this world is speaking up for what's right. But what we see here 
is these guys blowing up uh, abortion clinics. Now the scripture says, wait upon the Lord. Wait upon me, saith the Lord. So he, clearly these people ain't uh, the children of God. There's something wrong here. Anyway, let's get a scripture real quick. This is actually for, you know, brothers, but we can apply it, okay, to a so-called Christian. Matthew 7 and 5. Thou hypocrite, right? First cast the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly, right? Because in his eyes, all he sees is the Hebrew Israelism, Hebrew Israelism, they're dangerous. They're dangerous. They're a dangerous terrorist cult group. Right? It's <laughs> it says, cast out the beam of thy own eye. Right? That's what it says. Cast the beam out of thy own eye. Then shalt thou see clearly, right, to cast the moat out of thy brother's eye, although you're not our brother. But my whole point is, vocab Malone and these Christians, they need to cast that beam, that blindness in their eye. Then they can try to come and correct us and what's right and what's wrong according to scripture, which they can't do. But this is what they're doing. They're calling us the terrorist hate group, the terrorist cult. Uh-oh, but it looks like Looks like we found the real hate group, the real cult, <laughs> the Christians. This is um, <laughs> Wikipedia, Army of God. I didn't know nothing about this, so I just decided to dig into it and look. It says the Army of God is an American Christian terrorist organization that has uh, perpetrated anti-abortion violence according to the Department of Justice and the Department of Homeland Security. Now, we're against abortion as well. I mean, we're not, you know, we understand that Margaret Sanger set up eugenics and this and that, but really, they if they're going to be like that, they should be going after the people who set it up, which I guess that's what they're doing. They realize, you know, you never know if some of them may be jakes inside, you know. They just have a wrong calling. I, I don't know, but it all boils down to Christianity. Anyway, according to the Department of Justice and Department of Homeland Security, Security's Joint Terrorism Knowledge Base, the Army of God is an active underground terrorist organization in the United States that was formed in 1982 in addition to numerous property crimes. Sounds like thugs. <laughs> the group has committed acts of kidnapping, Attempted murder and murder. Oh man, there's been a lot that this group has been doing. Now this group is acting in in a form of an order or organization, right? As it said to perpetuate violence. But when it comes to us, we're out there standing and we're teaching mainly about prophecy and what the Lord is going to do. And to bring back the heritage of our people. And because we say everybody can't be an Israelite. That's where we become a hate group. And why did we become a hate group? We become a hate group because that takes the power out of Edom's hand. To control the masses of the people. Remember everything that the government can see is illegal. And what they can't see. Uh, uh, I mean everything the government can see is legal and what they can't see is illegal so they don't have control over this type of movement this is why they come in and they infiltrate it and try to get control right like they did the Black Panthers like they did the so called uh, the Nation of Islam like they did every other so called black group that stood up you know for their, for their people as long as this man don't have a hand in it, it becomes a big issue, right? And this is what we see in this, this point. These guys is literally going out as a group of terrorists, right? Committing heinous acts 
on American soil as a group. We're not talking about one Hebrew Israelite who got mad and bugged out and, and shot a cafe or labeled a terrorist that had a fake bomb, which Negroes don't have bombs, so I don't know where they got that from. But you can see it's all made up, man, you know? What vocab Malone doesn't realize is they're trying to do away with the Bible in general. They don't even like you Christians. But they use vocab to set it up. They use him to get rid of our movement so then they can go uh, uh, sweep his movement, which would be easy. Anyway, um, while sharing common ideology and tactics, the group's member members claim that they rarely communicate with each other. This is known formally as leaderless resistance. I thought they was led by Jesus the Christ. Jesus the Christ is terrible. Jesus the Christ is dangerous. No Israelite should be calling, uh, calling on Jesus the Christ, man. That is dangerous. That, is da that puts all kind of dangers in your way. That Jesus the Christ was the destroyer of our people in general. Uh, physically and mentally and spiritually. We were destroyed by that Jesus the Christ. Anyway, let's go to another scripture. I just want to get real quick. I just wanted to touch on that real quick. Ecclesiastes 12 and 10 in, in Apocrypha. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. All you people, you can go to the Christian church if you want. But we're telling you Israelites, blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, get away from that Christian church. Because you will not have salvation through Jesus the Christ. If they lied and put that picture up there, if they lied and told you he was the Messiah, what else have they lied to you about? Possibly your heritage? Let's go on down to 13. Who will pity a charmer when he's bitten with a serpent? Or any such as come nigh wild beast? So one that go up to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins. Who will pity? So when this thing starts wrapping up, and all hell come down on you fake Christians, who going to pity that? There's going to be no pity. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, right? But in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. So these um, white Christians, so-called Christians, right? Like, uh, and it's not about white, so to speak, but we'll say Edomite Christians, right what they'll do is uh, they'll tell you to come to Christ to come to Jesus and they'll tell you to come to Jesus and be saved and all along when they get that opportunity they're going to turn on you they're going to save their own ass anyway let's go to 17 if, if an adversary come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And, thou, and though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. So you can keep going to the, you know, this Christian church. We've seen time and time again, these Christian pastors have, have told you that they were your friend, that they love you, but they actually they're your enemy. Right? And they're not satisfied until they take your checks, your money, your wife, your children, and like this group, your lives. But we're the terrorist group. That's all I have on that, Shalom.